Okay, I've been working on a fuel starvation problem, a low pressure uh, rail reduced power on a Duramax 66. And I have a lift pump, I have one of those Raptor lift pumps. And I start, I ordered a new one, but nobody need it. I read the instructions on the, the new one. And one of the symptoms to check was this inlet filter. Now I got most of the stuff off before I got the filter out, but it's a little screen that filters the fuel going into the injector pump, sorry, into the lift pump, excuse me, was partially clogged. This is the remnant of what I got after I kind of poked at it and got it out of there. To get it out was a struggle because there was so much debris in that inlet pipe. I used a straw and I used some pack of gum and also a little small filler of a screwdriver just gently massage that gum up in there to grab this filter once I got most of the debris out and I was able to basically crawl it out of that little inlet. Uh, I'm going to go back down to the bottom of the truck and I'm going to give you a view of how it looks down there on that inlet. Okay, this is the pump. If you ever want to adjust the pressure, you can loosen this little lug nut, turn this little screw in or out to lower or raise the pressure. But this pump is this model here, RP100. And let's see if I get on the side of this real quick. That's the inlet right there. You can see right up in that pump, that's the inlet. That screen fits up in that little inlet right there. Uh, so, doing my research, um, whoever put this in, they did a pretty good job. They put this little nipple here to get a pressure reading. So you can take this out and you can stick in a pressure gauge and on the, let's call it the pressurized line going up to the, to the filter uh, and to the CP3, you can get a reading here. But if you ever running across any kind of performance issues where it says low pressure rail, you might want to pull out your inlet and just check in here where I got my, my, my thumb and look and see if you got any debris. And that, I hope, is going to be the root of my problems. I'm going to finish spraying out that little inlet filter and stick it back up in there and reconnect everything back up and get the fuel line back up in there.